What's up YouTube, it's your boy Carp Mr. Reg and welcome back to another video. As y'all can see, I have my Lexus LS 400. And if y'all haven't been keeping up with the uh, videos, I did a take and delivery, I did a first drive, and this will be me telling you guys about the maintenance that I'm being getting ready to do on this car. So, the maintenance I'm about to get ready to do is the timing belt, water pump, uh, I believe I'll be doing a thermostat, and it has to check engine light on for the EVAP, uh, cold, so I'll be doing something like that and probably this whole service is going to cost around two thousand dollars But always believe in taking care of your car and the car will take care of you So actually the Lexus dealer is right across the street and we finna head over there But yeah, man, we're about to go ahead and put this car in the shop and Get all the goodies done so this car could be running a lot stronger when it comes out And then after that we'll probably go ahead and get some tires and and yeah man so let's go ahead and go to the lexus dealership right now and let's go see what's up and i also heard that i might be getting a loaner car so i'll show you guys the loaner car maybe do a video uh, about the loaner car or whatever so let's just get over there let's go over there right now so like i told y'all the lexus dealership was right across the street so we finna get ready to go ahead and pull in the service right now and uh, see what they talking about, man. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why I go to dealerships too to get my car service. I know I could go somewhere cheaper and get it done and you know all of this stuff, but it's a reason why I go to dealerships. So I'll let you guys know in the next clip, but we're gonna go ahead and get ready to get the car checked in, go to my service advisor, go ahead and talk about some business and see what the final numbers will be and all that other stuff. and. Get this car in the shop, man, and get it running real good, man. It's about to be the daily driver. It's about to be, we about to be going on long road trips in this car and everything. So, got to make sure the car is good by all means. So, let's go ahead and get this car in the shop. All right, y'all. Obviously, I dropped off the LS400. Um, the guy told me I probably won't be able to get it back until tomorrow. A lot of work is getting done. They're finna check the, the codes and see. Hopefully it's something simple. He said it could be a gas cap, it could be a, a vacuum hose, or it could be a canister. The canister he's talking about is gonna be a thousand dollars. And I ain't got that right now. So if it is a canister, I ain't rocking with it. But obviously we are in a loaner car right now, and this loaner car is nice. And like I told y'all before, man, it's perks of you going to dealerships, man. Like when you go to a dealership. You could literally get you a, a loaner car, run your errands in and all different type of stuff and bring it back the next day or the next hour or the next three hours, whatever, or a week. Whenever your car is gonna get done, you go ahead and bring it back. That's the reason why I do like going to dealerships because they do do that in Infinity dealerships. They do that, I guess, at Lexus dealerships. So it's a perk with going to dealerships. And then, like I said too, it makes me feel comfortable when a dealership work on a car because I know they're gonna do it right. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna do it right. That's the only cars they work on is Lexus. And I'm pretty sure they see LS 400s a lot. Not saying that they're bad cars, but I'm pretty sure, you know, they see them a lot because it's a lot of them around. So, you know, which makes me feel comfortable knowing that the work is gonna get done right. And even if it don't get done right, if they mess up, <laughs> it's on them and if they mess up bad they'll just give you a whole nother engine or whatever so that's why i like going to dealerships over other mechanics um to be honest so actually the next video after this i will be showing the car that i'm in so definitely stay tuned for the next video because i'll be showing this car I will be i'll give you guys a whole walk around with this car um a drive and and everything so definitely stay tuned on to my channel man we got a lot of stuff coming but this video is not over i catch y'all as soon as i get the ls 400 but definitely stay tuned on to the next video i'll be showing you guys the loaner i'm in and it's hella nice i ain't gonna lie it's hella nice look at the panel roof bro <laughs> it's nice so i'll be showing y'all that next so definitely stay tuned all right y'all it's been a whole week <laughs> since i recorded the last part of this video i dropped the car off on june 9th and it is june 16th right now and i'm finally picking up the ls man finally i'm really excited and i just got a haircut so y'all see a little hair or whatever on my face don't mind me but i'm really 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 excited um i can't wait to i can't wait to pick up my car man i only drove it for like 20 minutes man so i'm gonna be real happy today i got a lot of work done and I'm gonna be explaining that to you guys later on in this video about everything what I did. Because like I said, I initially it was only supposed to be 
drop off on Friday, pick up on Saturday. But I got a lot of work done. Um, and it's going to need a little bit more work, but not too serious, though. But I got majority of it covered. And I spent a lot of money, too. I spent a lot of money. Ugh. A lot of money. I hate spending a lot of money, but I had to do it because it's going to be the daily. And hopefully we're going to be doing a small today. It's already 4 o'clock. I'm going to try to see if I can get to the small place by you no know, later by 5.15 and we could finish up the whole registration process so i can get my registration and also i can get my pink slip and my name um in california every time you change ownership unless the car was small in the last 90 days you got a smallest and i'm gonna be explaining why i spent so much money just because of that part so so we're gonna go ahead and get the lexus and i'll talk to y'all as soon as we get the lex all right y'all so as y'all can see i'm in a lexus ls 400 at the smog shop right now i'm gonna go ahead and get it smogged but man i miss this car man i miss this car it's gonna be real fun can't wait to see what this car all about got a lot of work done so let's go ahead and see what's up with these people but as y'all can see man this is just the one service i did i did plenty more but this is the time of boat but i'm gonna tell you guys everything i did as soon as i leave here but just wanted to show y'all the car real quick this thing is so clean y'all haven't seen it since i first got it but this car is so clean shout out to my boy jay man he did his thing keeping up with this car but you know i gotta put my touch on it for sure i gotta put my touch on it see a box shed right there this thing is clean all right, y'all, I got good news. The car passed smog, man. Meaning tomorrow I'll be going to AAA, to the DMV department, and getting my full registration for it. And also, I should be getting my pink slip. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys everything that I did with the Lexus LS400 so far. So the first thing I did was I did the time and belt. Uh, I did the time and belt, I did the water pump, I did the dry belts. I did the thermostat, I did a new radiator, new hoses, new radiator cap, and then I did the whole EVAP system. So pretty much the check engine light was a P0446, which was an EVAP system, but pretty much everything needed to get changed. The canister, uh, I believe the solenoid, and the tubes. So all that needed to get changed, which why it stayed in the shop for seven days. Um, the original plan was just to do the timing belt and the thermostat. You know, the whole little timing belt package that, you know, dry belts and, you know, all the good stuff, right? And I would have had got it the next day, which is, you know, Saturday, June the 10th. Um, but he called me the next day. He was telling me about the EVAP system. At first, I didn't want to do it, but then I had called back later that day. I said, you know what, we're going to go ahead and get that done. And then he was telling me how bad the radiator was. And if you are new to my channel, then, you know, I had a 1994 Acura Legend and things was all bad with that car. I had cooling issues and that car has cooling issues. So I don't play when none of my cars is about the cooling issues. So if you need another radiator, let's do the radiator. <laughs> Why, you know, the cooling is already out and you know, I had to pay extra money for cooling because of course I'm doing a the thermostat and I'm doing the, um, the water pump. So they had to put the cooling in there anyway. So I said, you know what, go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it. And I did it, and the car is running really good, man. The car is running really good, as y'all can see, man. I'm going a little bit over 80, 85 to be exact. And as y'all can see right there, it says tail lamp failure and also brake wear. They did mention that I needed another brake sensor, and I do need, um, I believe, the rear brake. I also need to do the valve covers, which I'll be doing that in the next. Let's, let's close that roof. And they also mentioned that the transmission like pan is seeping so i need to go ahead and get that resealed but as far as everything else they didn't mention nothing about suspension the suspension is uh cool so uh it seemed like it's cool because it's riding smooth but really that's the only issues with the lexus tomorrow i'm actually going to go ahead and get the tires and alignment so definitely stay tuned for that video because i'll be recording that tomorrow because uh, as y'all can see man look <laughs> steering wheel is like leaning slightly to the right and you can also tell by the right tire 
um, that it needs alignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the alignment done tomorrow. And then probably in the next two weeks, we're gonna be taking in and get the valve covers and then probably most likely an oil change. And I'll be doing the spark plugs too. And then the only thing I'll be left is the transmission pan and, and brakes, you know, to be honest. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. I might do the brakes tomorrow, depending on what is his price, uh, Cisco City Alignment, I might just go ahead and just buy the um, buy the rear brakes uh, tomorrow. Go ahead and just slap the rear brakes on. Not even worried about the rotors right now. Just go ahead and slap the rear brakes. It's not like the wheel is shaking or anything. I'm gonna just go ahead and slap the brake pads on. So if it's if it's a good price, you know, just slapping the brake pads on, I might just go ahead and do that tomorrow. Because like I said, y'all, this is gonna be my daily driver. This is what's gonna get me back and forth to work. And I gotta make sure this thing runs and I gotta make sure this thing runs good. We all know with the Lexus LS400, reliability is not an issue, <laughs> but you have to take care of the cars. And if you know me, or if you are new to the channel, you will soon to know that maintenance is everything for me. Maintenance is everything for me. That's how I can have fun in my cars. That's how I ain't gotta worry about my cars or nothing like that. So yeah, man, dang, this thing is just floating, boy. This thing is just floating. And fun fact is that when I had dropped this car off, I was only in the car for like 20, 25 minutes. So this is like my first time really driving it. My first time really driving it on a freeway. So um, look at this, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, dude, don't cut me off, man. But anyways, you gotta worry about people like that in California. But if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a like, go ahead and subscribe right now. More content on the way. This is only the beginning. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.